says the Rebbe Gimel Shalom. One of the most important words we know in service of Hashem is called Avodah, work, work, service. It has the same root as Eved. Eved is a slave. In our uh, duty in this world, our job is to be Eved Hashem, servant of Hashem, and that's a big zechut. You work for the biggest king in the world. I'm the I'm the minister, or I'm the uh, you know direct servant of this king. Psh, wow, you're associated with this. Psh, you get such a kavod. We should feel a kavod with this title. And what? At the end of the day, though, it's avodah. What's avodah? Hard work. Work. Person says, "How is prayer?" Eh, whatever. Person says that no, that the when you come out of a prayer, you should feel like, "Wow, I worked hard. That was a that was that was a, that was pretty difficult, but I did it and I was successful." So therefore, a person has to realize, wait, you can ask yourself, how is it hard work? You just open the book, you read some words, what's the hard work? So you have to know that the Chazanish used to say that the Avodah of prayer is harder for me than the most difficult Gemara topic. He says that's what he said he used to, he used to work hard during his prayers. How could he do that? What is there to work hard during the Tefillah? So he says that the, what's the Neshama of the prayer? The neshama of the prayer, there's the goof of the prayer, the body, and then there's the inside, inside, the, the most important part, the soul of the prayer. What's that? Kavana. It's concentrating your thoughts and putting your heart. A person can say the words, that's the, that's the body. The word is the body. I said the word. But then there's the meaning of the word, the kavana behind the word, the neshama. Of, we know that goof below neshama is nothing. A body without a soul is nothing. So you have to have a soul inside your, uh, inside your words. So that kavana, it's gonna be, it's not gonna go nowhere, right? Imagine a guy came, and he said, uh, the rabbi said to him, "No, where, where, where were you for tefillah? We didn't see you." He says, "It's okay, I came, I was there." How? We didn't see you. He says, "No, you didn't see me. I came early. I put a little tape recorder, I pressed play, and I left." And he says, "What do you mean?" He says, "Yeah, I record myself." I said the whole tefillah from A to Z, korbanot, everything. I just put it in my chair. And I press uh, play, and it was my voice, my voice saying the tefillah. So it was like I was there. No, it's good, it counts. I don't have to be there. I go and I went to the to this, went to do. I came back when the tefillah is over, and I said to Hashem, "Look, I prayed. I said all the words, right? I did, I did, I did my job." So obviously, obviously, you would say this is a joke. What do you mean? That's that's just a robot saying. That doesn't mean anything. So therefore, sometimes you should know some people when they pray, they like tape recorder. The same thing. They come, they say, oh, where is he? He's in his phone. Where is he? He's in his bed. Where is he? He's in work. You know, and he's just, oh, 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 oh. and Hashem says, what is this? This is the same thing as a tape recorder, just saying, la, 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 la. Where is the oomph inside? Where is the meaning? Where is the, you know, when you pray to good Amida, when you're in such an involved Amida, you forgot where you were. You forgot. And Shukhan says, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, you're supposed to imagine you're in front of Kisekov, in front of Kadosh Melech Melechem Melechim, and you have to feel like you're you're in Shamaim speaking to Hashem. You have to forget what you are, where you are. You're such in a meditative state that you 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 know you're oblivious to your surroundings. You know, some people it's a good sign to see who's praying and who's not. There's people that say somebody comes in, makes a noise like the door, boom, the door came, or someone dropped something. If everybody turns to look, that means they're not uh, really inside. But people who don't turn to look, they're so focused that they don't pay attention. That means they're focused. That means they're involved. So if a person has to know, it's avodah. It's not easy. Rabbi, sometimes I try. I, I can focus five seconds, then I, my mind is already... Okay, so you have to build the tolerance, build endurance to stay focused on one thing. It's the ADHD that uh, doesn't allow us to focus. We have to overcome it. Right? Fine. So therefore, Kadesh uh, Baruch doesn't like uh, when, you, when we lie or be fake with him. You have to be real. You have to really mean what you say. So now, when we say Atagibor, right? We say Rofei Cholim, Matira Surim. We say uh, Hashem heals the sick, He releases the bound, He is mighty. Do we believe all these things? Really? We, 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 for example, we say every day there's a Kavana in the Amidah. When you say Leman Shemu Ba'ava, it says over there you have Kavana, that you're giving up your soul and uh, giving your life over to Hashem, even if it means through the four capital punishments, right? Of Skila Srifa Herech Henek. You have to be willing to accept Hashem's rule as your king, even if it means giving up my life for those, uh, for Hashem. I'll do it. So, do you really, do you really accept that? Do you really give up your, your right now? If it came up, you give up your life for Hashem, even if it means through those uh, four capital punishments. 
And you say to Hashem every day, Hashem, no bagad, no, I want to make teshuvah. Did you really mean it? Do you say, you're, are you really sorry for what you did? Or are you going to go home and do the same thing again? All these things, you have to make sure not to lie to Hashem. You have to make sure that you really mean it. <coughs> we say, Hashem, uh, we wait for the geula. We say, it's Mahdavid. Right, we say Bonei Urushalayim. Do we really wish that the Yerushalayim be built? Do we really care about these things? So a person has to think about these things. Now, imagine you needed money, right? How would you go to the bank to get the loan for the house? Please, you understand, I am, I am a, I'm a very good person, I'm very reliable. Please, you go to a doctor who is very busy and you said, no, listen, my relative very sick. I need, I need you to take care of him. I need you to get involved, please. You would plead with him. You, would, you wouldn't be talking to him while you're on your phone. You wouldn't be, he would ask you, you heard what I said? Oh no, I say it again, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. You wouldn't be airhead when you would speak to him. So how much more so, Kaddish Baruch Hu, Malach Malachel Machim, who is the ultimate banker, the ultimate doctor, the ultimate lawyer, the ultimate everything that you need, all the Yeshuot you need from him, how much more so you should be fully focused in the conversation. Problem is, we don't really believe that. We don't really think that Hashem could give me the Parnasa and Hashem could give me the Rafua. We think maybe the business will give me, the doctor will give me, this will give me. We have to realize that those places only have Atzlacha because He said so. So therefore, when we really believe that Kaddish Baruch Hu is the one who give it to us, then we're going to make our uh, conversation with the Kaddish Baruch Hu very serious. We're not going to think about thinking about anything else during tefillah. So therefore, now we understand why the Chazanish said prayer was a real avodah, a real job. It's hard. You got to sweat for it. Harder even than Gemara. Baruch Amen, amen, amen.